What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. I truly appreciate you all, all of the organic love and support. Thank you for rocking with me. Let's talk about this next download. This woman, <clears throat> I'm telling you, child, this woman watched her man slide down the wall by one of y'all. I'm telling you, she couldn't even say nothing. She couldn't even ask him nothing about his grieving process that was happening in front of her because she already know why he crying. She already know why he's sliding down the wall. Because he want to be with you. He miss you. He love you. He done locked himself in some sort of legal commitments with this other feminine. And he can't virtually escape. It would be some sort of financial ruin for this masculine if he cut all ties abruptly with this feminine. And she know that. She knows she got him hanging, dangling by a string. So he can't go nowhere and he know that you ain't trying to hear that shit. Okay, now I want to show you what was in this deck that I was about to use. I cut the deck, y'all look. Eight of Wands. Throw rocks, hide their hand, and cry wolf. Wow. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know somebody may be sitting up talking shit about somebody throwing rocks hiding their hand and crying wolf this feminine may have done that about you okay and now she watching her man slide down the wall about you okay see that's how that karma can come back too holy spirit what else do we need to know about this download that you gave me what is the insight guidance and understanding the lesson most of all in this message please and thank you holy spirit what is it that we need to know from you through me at this time holy spirit we are very thankful for all of the messages the the divine messages that you have provided us with holy spirit but what do we need to know about this one please and thank you Please and thank you. Let's go. Mm, Ace of Wands. This man want to have a new start in life with you. This man want to have a new opportunity at life with you. He wishes he would have never went over where he went and locked himself in the way that he did. This man was crying. Okay, like some 90, 90s R&B video shit sliding down the wall now because he wants to have this new beginning with you so bad, but he can't. This King of Cups, he want to move on to calmer waters with you so bad. This man be thinking about running out on this woman every day and living his life free and unencumbered. But he knows the drama that will ensue if he does that. Because like I said, it's about the money. It's about the legal commitments, the foundation that he started with this person. Okay? And he can't escape it. Motherfucker been sliding down the wall now. He could be like a Libra, Scorpio energy. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. And it ain't no secret. He ain't telling her why he crying. Okay? But she know this her right here, this moon energy. She know exactly why his ass crying. He crying because of you. And you gave up on him. And the, the possibility of this Two of Cups, Ace of Cups partnership that y'all was supposed to have, damn, look what fell out the deck. On the bottom, King of Wands in reverse. He fucked it up. Y'all was supposed to have an Ace of Cups, but he chose to have a Seven of Cups 
with this Queen of Cups moon energy and his ass is in reverse. Popped out here in reverse. He's, he's either a Libra Scorpio cusp or he's a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. One of the two. She could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay? Let me get these cards together. This is what I'm talking about, though. Y'all thought I was playing. This shit came out back to back. Back to back. <clears throat> this man hurt, honey. Ain't hardly been able to talk. People, other people have asked him <clears throat> what's wrong with him. And every time he go to try to talk about what's wrong with him, he get choked up. That's what's happening to me. That's why I'm doing that. Because he can't talk about you without getting choked up. So you are what's wrong. Because he can't be with you. He can't have a new opportunity at life with you. He know that. He know you, you're not going to take his legal commitments as an excuse. You ain't going for that shit because you know how a motherfucker can let everything go when they really done with something. Okay? Legal ob obligations are not. Financial obligations are not. They do what they need to do to be free of those, but they don't sit and wait around and twiddle their thumbs and be sliding down no wall about nothing either. They make a move. If this King of Cups, King of Swords, King of Wands in reverse was truly ready to, to disconnect from this Queen of Cups and go to his Empress Ace of Cups, he wouldn't be out here as the King of Wands in reverse. He, he ain't operating in his divine energy, but it's more than that. It's not about pride and ego. At one point it was, but this Queen of Cups moon energy ain't nothing to be proud about. That's what I just heard, because whatever she been out here doing, <clears throat> whatever he thought was the bee's knees about her, He's realizing his head was in the clouds. Okay? That's why this moon came out for her too. Because there's things about her that are deceptive. There are, there are allusions to her that this man was not aware about. That's also why he in the Nine of Swords. Because he know he didn't choose the right person. But he's not being active he's not standing up for what he knows to be true for what he believes in he's not taking action he's not being a leader you know it's like he's given up he's decided you know well this is how it has to be because of the decision i made i have to just continue to moderate my life with what's going on and make peace about it but he can't make peace about it. He didn't try it, child. He didn't try it, honey. Star. And it came out sideways because that, look, that's how he in the middle with this making peace about things, okay? He didn't try to go about a renewal. He's tried to heal and align himself. He's tried to make the best of this partnership that he's currently in, but they keep having problems. Star is right up under the five of wands. It's like when he makes an effort to heal the situation, it ends up in conflict because they karmic. They karmic to each other. Queen of Wands. She take charge. She take over somehow. She overpowers him. He in reverse. She upright. Coming out here as the queen of wands now. So that says a lot. She could be <clears throat> possibly like a cancer Leo cusp here. But it, it shows how she's more dominant 
because of this foundation that they have built. She's not going to give up on this Ten of Pentacles. She's not going to give up on the Ten of Cups future that they have established. Financially, it seems as if these people are doing just fine. But it's not the financial aspect of their relationship that's the problem. This man don't love this woman. He thought he did, but he don't. That was an illusion. It's out here. He love you. He got a whole ace of cups for you. And he going to continue to be in this energy until he's able to celebrate with you. Because that's you and her on the card. He didn't try it with her. I feel like he tried it with you. But he didn't try it with you on the level that he tried it with her. Because if that was the case, he would be locked in over there with you. And happily working out any differences or issues y'all may be facing. That's not the case here. So, until he decides to permanently end the connection that he's in, this is how he going to feel. That's what I'm hearing. Five of Cups. Because <clears throat> he has to take action. He can't expect for things to change. He can't expect for him to feel differently about his situation if he's allowing his situation to remain the way that it is. He's not making any efforts to switch up anything okay he's it's like he has decided well i guess she gonna be my wife my queen of pentacles ain't nothing i can do about it oh well but that shit got him in the tower that mentality has this king of cups energy in the tower so what are you gonna do about it that's what the universe is saying to him because he's been very debilitated, some sort of malaise energy. That's why people been asking him what's wrong. Is he okay? It's starting to take some sort of toll on him, make him seem as if he may be falling ill. Because you are his ideal love choice. You are his unified love choice. It ain't going to get... No better than you when it comes to unifying with another. He has <clears throat> unified with this Queen of Cups, but he miserable. This man miserable. Okay. And I'm telling you, the only reason why she holding on to him is because of the Ace of Pentacles money that he gives to her. He shares his wealth with her. That is why she refuses to, to comply, to compromise. He's already told her he don't want to be with her, that he wanted to plan and exit away from their connection and transition on to a new life, this Ace of Wands. You falling right up under the Ace of Wands. He may have even told her that he want to end it for you specifically to have a victory with you. Like, he ain't lying to her. She know what's up. These people may have separate bedrooms. These people may not even sleep in the same bed. Okay, it's then got to that point. He laying by himself on this Four of Swords card. And there is some energy, like, because he told her that he wanted to transition away from their partnership, it's like he tried to he tried to do let's make a deal with her. For real. Like I'll give you something. I'll give you a a severance package of some kind, even. If you just let me go on over here and give this romantic offer to this divine feminine that I know I'm supposed to have a victory in life with. He he possibly told her that. Mm, clarify what I'm getting, Holy Spirit. And she was like, nah, mm-mm. 
Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> she was like, no, I'm going to hold on to the money this way. I got more benefit holding on to you this way as opposed to accepting a severance package that won't last me six months to a year for the life that I'm living with you now. They married. Ooh, he was heartbroken when she told him no. And she was nasty about it too, child. So this is why this woman has thrown rocks out into the universe about you. Because he told her he wanted to transition towards you, Hermit. She could have Virgo somewhere prominently in her chart as well. But she started trying to figure out how she could cut you down. How she could cause some sort of pain and disappointment for you. Because you trying to break up her happy home. You, you want her to be in the Queen of Swords so that her husband can become your man. Your husband. That's that's what this lady been putting out here about you. She could also have <clears throat> I don't know what this is I'm picking up off of her. I almost said Gemini, but then I was feeling like it's possibly that Aquarius Piscean energy. But we also got Cancer Leo energy from her as well. So it's no telling how people signs running. Like I tell folks, do not get so attached to your sun sign. Because depending on the life you're living, the energy that you're in, that may not be what is popping out prominently in your life that sun sign. It could be any prominent aspect of your birth chart that is fueling current events in your life. So just be mindful about that, okay? But yeah, she was like, no, <laughs> you ain't finna make me be a divorcee and you over there married and locked into a faithful, happy commitment with my man. So she commenced to start it, throwing rocks and hiding her hand about you. Mm -mm. And that ain't helped things because if she's out here telling people that you are breaking up her happy home, then she putting people in their business, first of all. Second of all, you ain't even connected to this man on the physical realm. His spiritual, emotional, mental struggle about you is not because you have been interacting with him on the physical realm. So she wrong for trying to make it seem like you are a third party to her marriage. That's why her marriage is going the way it's going. Because then when they go look at him and they see how miserable and malaised he is, Knowing that he ain't. People know this man ain't messing with you on the side. She's saying that, but ain't nobody believing that shit. It's like there's proof that you are far removed from this cup, this karmic couple, because that's what they are. Clarify me. We're going to get some, yes, will of fortune, travel. You see this? This always give me compass energy. You have shifted the perspective, the scope of your life in such a way that you are sitting in the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands already. That's that's what he wants to have with you, but you're already experiencing that yourself. You on top of the wheel. You're not worried about these people. You're not worried about this man, divine masculine or not. Okay? Because for you to come out here as this Queen of Swords energy, that and he came out here as this king of swords. Excuse me. She she wants you to be the queen of swords, but she is the queen of swords. At one point, though, he was treating you like you were the queen of swords, and he was the king of swords. You were 
He was putting his guard up to you because of this commitment he was in. And you accepted defeat. Because sometimes you got to lose to win, child. I'm telling you now. It is called chess. And you did, and him sliding down the wall about you many moons later is called checkmate. Okay? I don't know who, because you a whole lotus flower bomb. Somebody who watched me play chess, you may talk to the birds too. Okay? <clears throat> There's probably a lot of people who watch me that play chess. Hell, I play chess shit. But he most definitely wants to resurrect this partnership with you. Okay? So, Holy Spirit, what are the final messages surrounding this energy? What well, I'm telling you, sick. He been sick, y'all. He been, it ha, it's starting to, okay, you know how people be talking about how people can die from a broken heart, be unalive from a broken heart. That's how this man is behaving. And she ain't say nothing because she already know because he already told her what he wanted to do. And she he was trying to compromise with the whole now. And she refused. So this is what she get. Because he ain't going to pretend. He's not going to suppress his feelings anymore. He's already done that. He's already tried to shun you and act like you didn't matter. And he... He's worse off now than he was when he was just trying to, to be with you. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but it's like he should have just left well enough alone, not been trying to pretend like he didn't like you because it, it has actually made his desire for you stronger, trying to suppress his emotions for you, to please his partner, to to maintain that connection okay so what uh, resurrection on the bottom that that's the energy because your spirituality is organic and she knows that your spirituality is organic because this slander that i'm picking up on didn't go nowhere this queen of swords energy she was in against you telling people that you were the cause of any friction she was experiencing with him you were protected from that because you are an earth angel. Okay? And people do have knowledge and foresight about why, like I said, this man walking around malaise. Because it's been over between him and that other person. But she don't want to have to be resourceful and get it out the mud. So she ain't willing to give it up without a fight. And this is his energy. But instead of standing, after you've done all you can, you just gonna slide down the wall because it ain't nothing else you can do. And you are in deep despair. That's his energy. Because, baby, he didn't try. I'm telling you now, whoever this applies to, this masculine has tried to be peaceable, in the situation to try to give her some sort of benefit for even agreeing to leave him and to dissolve the partnership, but she just ain't going to do that. Hidden cameras. It's something like not only had, she could have seen him, she watched him slide down the wall. So either this woman has blinks up in the house and she be trying to see what the fuck he be doing and she caught him crying about you or he did it in her face. Now it could be the prior. He could have went somewhere and had a whole breakdown about you, called out your name and all probably because she knew he was crying about you. Clarify this hit, hidden cameras, Holy Spirit. Time will always tell. So she saw him on camera, okay, and in their house, in one of them rooms in their house, crying in the corner about you. And whatever she saw, let her know that his despair, 
his grief, his pain, his tears were for you. Okay? She know that for a fact. Family. Despite the family that they have created together, this man wants to be family with you. And you and him are in alignment to be family to each other because y'all are each other's divine counterparts. So it makes sense. Okay? He came out as her match as this king, queen of cups, but they also are each other's match currently as this king, queen of swords. It's a bitter, estranged couple that's still in the house together. She came out as this queen of pentacles and this queen of wands, but he came out as a king of wands in reverse. And he ain't hit the table as a king of pentacles at all. But he did come out as this emperor hierophant to you. Because this is why. And that's just what it is. When you know that the person you want to collaborate and conference with is pining to collaborate and conference with another, you don't play yourself by continuing to partner with somebody who don't really want to partner with you. You check yourself, okay? And you move forward accordingly. Anything else? Final messages, Holy Spirit, Spirit, please and thank you. Contract. You check yourself about that contract that you may have had with this Scorpio energy and you decide if it's really worth it because it ain't no way that I'm going to be sitting up playing house with nobody who don't even like me, who don't even like me, child, who I don't even sleep in the same bed with. Meanwhile, you over there in this energy, because I'm telling you, she was trying to tell folks that you was the reason why her marriage was on the rocks. And people know better. They know better now because they know you are so far removed from this situation and what these people got going on that you cannot take any fault or blame for how this man has been behaving and appearing to the world. That that effect is not because he couldn't be with you. That's a self-imposed restriction. And you have drawn a line in the sand because for your divine masculine to shun you the way that I am picking up, he shunned you. You don't hate him, but if he crossed that line again, you know, the tide will change. You trying to draw that line in the sand. You stay over there. I'm going to stay over here. I'm not going to cross that line to interrupt your commitment. Don't cross that line to disturb my peace unless you're coming with a monogamous commitment. Okay? You didn't tell this person. And now he like this in limbo. Because I'm telling you, if he really wanted to get up out of this, he could. Yeah, he may take a loss. But if he's with his true divine feminine, he'll get it all back again, plus some. Final card, Holy Spirit. Final card. Judge. It's time for him to boss up and make a decision that's going to repair his life, that's going to make him happy, that's going to get him out of this depression that he's in, because this man is depressed about not being able to be with you, but, you know, he, he's like, it's not that simple, but yes, it is. It's very simple. Once you decide, make a decision, call judgment on something, and decide that it's beneath you and you need to disengage because you still don't trust who you're trying to hold on 
and maintain things with. The universe, she might be hurt when you decide to disconnect, but she is a rat around you. And the universe will support your efforts to free yourself from this betrayal. That's why this Ten of Swords came out too. Behind this Two of Wands, behind him telling her how he wanted to move on because she's, it's something she didn't did too to make it harder for him to leave. Once he let her know what his plans were, but people gonna get enough of doing this. Because every time they do that to somebody, justice and karma is right around, coming right on around the bend now. And this is how karma has boomerang back into this feminine's life. She got to watch her man be depressed and cry about a woman who she has tried to slander and defame. Possibly in multiple ways. Mm, mm, mm. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.